Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lifestyle with Lisa. Guys, I hope you all are doing well out there. Guys, thank you for coming back to visit me on my own little corner of YouTube. Today I have a Walmart haul for you all. Sit back and relax. It's not much, but I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys um, have to pick up from the store? When are you going to start your spring cleaning? I haven't started mine yet. Um, been kind of busy, have a lot of things going on, but I'm going to start my spring cleaning probably in the next week or two. Probably next week, hopefully. Um, also, what have you guys noticed that Walmart, you know, what new things you guys been running into at Walmart? Also, what you picked up lately. So let me just get started. I'm going to start from the back. Right here, I end up getting, let's see, can I move this out the way? Sorry about my hands. Y'all know, usually I have just got finished washing dishes, so that's why I forgot to put lotion on. But okay, this is the, y'all see it? Arm and Hammer Sensitive Skin. Remember I was telling you guys I like the white bottle and the yellow bottle. So both of those are sensitive skin. So I end up getting a big, huge one. Laundry is coming up. Um, and I just went ahead and got a big, huge one because I can't find this particular one in my area. But Walmart and Target sells it. So I went ahead and just got a huge one. Laundry day is coming up. And while I have this one out, I end up getting another refill. This is the soft soap and lemon refill. Y'all know instead of just getting the regular individual pumps, I just like to get the refill. It's like $5 and some change for this big, big thing. And I just think it's worth it because you can just keep refilling it in your bathroom and kitchen. We wash our hands a lot over here. So we just go ahead. Well, you can tell because my hands is ashy. Anyway, um, ooh, almost fell. Then back here, I got the Lysol Laundry Sanitizer. This is the laundry one. I like the regular and the um, sensitive, I mean, well, the fragrance free. I thought this was the fragrance free, but it's a regular, which is fine because I use both. But every time I can get my hands on the um, sensitive skin one or fragrance free, I get that one too. But that's fine because I use both of them. This one right here is Lysol disinfectant spray. Y'all know I get this all the time. Hate to be low, spray this everywhere, even on my son when he come home from work. Spray it on his work clothes, shoes, stuff like that. So, been using it for years. Love me a Lysol product. Also, guys, I finally end up getting this um, Febreze plug-in and the Smooth and Restore. This is the one I was telling you guys about. Um, I really love this scent. This scent is really nice. So I'm hoping it projects really well when I plug it in because I just found out that they have um, the plug-in. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's a good scent. I really, really enjoyed this scent. I also end up getting it in the, I got some more of the Febreze Air Mist. So it's the Smooth and Restore. It says Whip Warm Sugar and Shea Butter. Guys, it smells so good to my nose. It's, it's like warm, sugary. Okay, are you guys familiar? Some of you guys familiar with um, Bath and Body Works um, Warm Vanilla? To me, this is what warm vanilla should have smelled like. It's like real warm, sugary, that shea butter and that rip, that whip warm sugar. Oh, it smells good. So yeah, I was surprised to see it in the plug-in. I just got one because I hope it projects really good when I, because I'm trying to see do I want to plug it up in my room or the bathroom. Probably my room. I mean, come on. I need my room to smell good at all times. In the bathroom, of course, but I may put it in my room. We'll see. Anyway, I end up getting um, some more Dawn um, dish detergent. Y'all know we wash dishes over here. So I went ahead and just got some more because uh, we was getting kind of low. Also, look what they have out now. Guys, I was surprised because I saw this about a week or two ago on the app. I forgot to let you guys know all this was same day delivered. Um, it was free because it's over $35. So anyway, um, I saw this on the app a week or two ago. I didn't know if it was real because sometimes a lot of stuff on the app, you would see it on there and then you don't see it or it's just not in your area. Or sometimes it can be just like a third party selling it. But anyway, yeah, they have it in my store now. And I saw this on the app. They have the grapefruit one too. Y'all know I like the grapefruit. I love the Coral Rocks, um, Santiva, Disinfecting Mist multi-purpose all that I just gave the grapefruit a break for a while because you know how you use a scent constantly like I was using that for like a year straight and I was just giving it a break because I got kind of tired of it but it's still a really good scent so anyway I end up getting this this is come this is like a um the disinfectant this is the mist and 
I'm used to getting the one that's, I think it's called lemongrass. I like that scent too. So I was kind of excited, yeah, because you could spray it all over. It says hard surfaces, eliminate odors, and then you could put it on um, any fabric, like your, you know, bedding, couches, chairs, stuff like that. So I can't wait to use this. This is really nice. Also, you know, I also got the um, Santiva Disinfectant Multi-Cleaner. I only can find this at Walmart and Target. So I have one already, but I just went ahead and picked up another one because I'm getting ready to do my spring cleaning. Let me know down in the comment section. Did you guys start your spring cleaning yet? I have not. Um, I'm hoping to start it in the next week or two, hopefully next week. But I have a lot going on with doctor's appointments. Both of us work, me and my son. Um, it's just a lot going on. I have a lot going on. So I'm going to start hopefully next week, if not the week after. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I apologize. But yeah, um, love that for cleaning. Also, I end up biting the bullet and went ahead. I've been eyeing this right here. This is one of Dove New Soaps. It's a plant-based soap. <sighs> I went ahead. Well, the reason I went ahead and got it, first of all, is $5. So that's why I was hesitating. This has been out for almost, I want to say a month now. So I had wanted to try anything with plant-based. I like to try it or that says vegan. Now, I have seen a lot of people in Dove comments and other people comments on their posts about, oh, it's not clean. Well, it don't have clean ingredients. Guys, let people live. It's still a free country. People are still allowed to use what they want and buy with their own money. If you were to use that app that I told you guys about a year ago, I have been using it for two and a half years now. It's called Yuck. You can go and download it. It's free. Scan a lot of your body care items. Scan a lot of your makeup. Scan a lot of your cleaning products. You would be surprised. And it's a really good app. You would be surprised. So let people live and let them buy what they want. I went ahead and bought the bullet because it was a $2 off coup digital coupon. So it brought it down to $3, even though that's still a lot. But hey, I just figured, hey, I wasn't able to get one of my snacks that I wanted to get in review because I wanted to try this. And when I say it smells real good, it smells real good. I will go into more in depth about it if you guys want me to on one of my body care um, videos. But yeah, I went ahead and got this and it does smell really good. So I'm going to see how that works out. And hopefully I'll be giving you guys a feedback later. But yeah, this one smells good. They have five or six different ones. But this is the one I have my eye on. I mean, because coconut milk and sugar aliche. Don't that sound nice? It smells good. So anyway, I went ahead and got that. I'll let you guys know later. Again, I apologize. Y'all keep seeing my ashy hands. Y'all know I got a lot of lotion, but... That's what happens sometimes. I get finished washing dishes. I just wanted to get this video up because I have other things to do. Right here, I end up treating myself to two new um, body washes. I tried out last week, what well, a week before last, their ultra sensitive skin one. I like it. And so I decided to do another one of their Dove. This is Dove line. They came out with the bar soap. Um, I think they called this a serum serum line or something like that so it's several body washes so so far i have the ultra sensitive skin and then i have melon even tone and it says gentle exfoliation for every skin tone well every skin type a tone and it's five percent so it smells good when i smell it so i can't wait to use this and do a routine with it and i will let you guys know you know how i like it but so far i do like the scent also, you know, I love Native. Native, I have been using their products and I have like, oh my God, I have over 15 of their body washes now. Um, this is the Key Lime, Key Lime and Sugar. I have been pass passing this one up too for about a month now when I first saw it because I was kind of nervous. I'm like, they saying, um, what did they say? They had it. I think they said it's for, it's unisex. That's what they were saying. So I was kind of nervous that it would smell a little floral or musky. So I went ahead and just bite the bullet and said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it because usually native do not steer me wrong. Their sense is what they say it is most of the time. Well, 90% of the time. And like I said, I like their products. I have never had a problem with it. They are 100% vegan. So yeah, if your product is not 100% vegan or organic, 9 out of 10 it's not going to be that great. So that's why I don't know why people is tripping off this bar because 
If you just scan a lot of your body care, cleaning items, and makeup, you would be surprised at the ingredients that's in there. Because if it's not 100% organic or vegan, then yeah. <laughs> just, just mind your business and leave people alone. And I'm only saying this because I have seen a lot of people that have this bar soap in their um, videos or they are on IG, Instagram, Dove page talking about, you know, how these people pop up and saying, oh, you know, it's not clean ingredients and it's bad, this and that. It's a lot of stuff bad for us. Trust me, honey. It's the air we breathe in. It's polluted. So anyway, but I will give you guys the feedback if you want it. I'll probably do a separate video on all the body care, new body care stuff I've been picking up. Um, And I would just go in depth to let you guys know how I like it and how it smells. But so far, this smells good in the bottle. I cannot wait to do a routine with this one. Over here, I have a big, huge pack of Bounty Paper Towels. Um, This is the 6 Equal 18 triple rolls i needed more paper towels because i'm out so this should last us a while until we get paid again and um yeah i'm glad that i have this one over here guys look what i have guys i have some new products to review i found these um last week on the app so i couldn't wait to get them i love hershey candy so this is the new hershey kisses rainbow brownie guys don't that sound really delicious guys put your treats like your cupcakes pies um donuts cake candy chocolate put them in the refrigerator for about five or ten minutes take them out before you about to get ready and snack or watch a movie or something you only really need five minutes guys it's a big game changer i hate hot um snacks like treats i hate hot treats i've been doing this for years put them in the refrigerator for about five minutes I'm telling you, it's a game changer. I cannot wait. I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator when I get done because I'm going to do a review later on, hopefully, because it's Friday night. And y'all know we do movie, movie night on Friday night. Um, if we're too tired, we'll do it Saturday. But yeah, y'all know we're going to snack on these after I do my review. So yeah, that sounds delicious. And guess what else I found? I told you guys if I find them, I was going to get them. This is the new Ruffles um, Double Crunch. This is the Honey Mustard. Um, I did the hot wings video last week. I did not like them only because of that tang, the aftertaste with that tang barbecue sauce. I hate tang barbecue sauce because some of the tanginess is different. I don't like, I just don't like the taste. But anyway, I'm hoping that these are really good. The honey mustard sounds so delicious. So hopefully we'll see. We're going to do a review on those too. And my last item that I end up getting, guys, this is the Quilted Northern Ultra Push. Um, six mega rolls equal 24. We have four rolls in the house, so that's why I went ahead and got the small pack because I said, hey, you know, if you're one of those people that's like me, you know what you and your family go through. You should know how much you and your family go through when it comes to essential items that you use every single day. So those four rolls I already have left, and this pack right here, we should be good until I get paid again, me or my son, so that should be good. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My throat is feeling a lot better. I'm not as stuffy as I was, but the weather is changing here in Northeast Ohio so much that um, today is nice and sunny and pretty. But guys, I don't know, you know, been here just about all my life and you just never know what you're going to wake up to. That's Ohio for you. But anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you. I, sorry, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.